show of hands have just finished a big project for Mighty Village and Universal Music, where we were asked to provide musical settings for 24 of the classic Great War poems. And uh, Jim Carter and Imelda Staunton recorded the poems at Abbey Road. Uh, they were sent down to us in Devon. And we spent about three months or so just trying to find settings, just themes, just atmospheres from all of those classic songs. And um, it's been an absolute labor of love because um, sometimes there's a mismatch and, and sometimes you record a version of one of those songs and you can't find the poetry to go with it. And then occasionally everything just locks together and you have this wonderful moment in the studio where people are reduced to tears or of joy and, and laughter. And um, we were also asked wherever possible to use instruments such as the tenor guitar here that were current at the time and also the octave mandolin that I'll, I'll play you a bit. So you could have something like, um, take uh, I Vow to Thee, My Country. Played on the solo instrument rather than by an orchestra, it becomes a bit more plaintive. And, and the poem that just locked together with that straight away was... Um, Jim Carter reading uh, The Soldier, if, you know, If I Should Die, I Think I'm Listening. So in the studio, when that happens, you just have this great moment where, uh, you know, you feel very, very privileged to be part of something. And um, this instrument as well, I, I recorded a song called The Keeper. Uh, for a second CD. And on the second CD, it's not poems and music. It's songs and music inspired by the Great War, and that could include uh, some old traditional folk songs that go back maybe to the Napoleonic Wars, or it could be original songs such as The Keeper or Lads in Their Hundreds or Goodbye to the Next Time. And so we were given free reign on the second album. And occasionally we took some of the music from album from CD1 and just extended it. So I had a tune. That was written as a Morris tune uh, for the poem that George Butterworth, who was one of the top Morris dancers of his day, uh, he did a setting for Houseman's The Shropshire Lad, uh, The Lads in Their Hundreds. So uh, we had this idea that he was dancing towards the future, you know, uh, almost like dancing towards the trenches. So on CD1, you have a very Morris dance version with a Melda Staunton reciting. And on CD2, we've extended that to the lads in the hundreds, the lot low come into the fair. There's lads from the field and the farm and the mill and the fold. The lads for the lasses and the lads for the liquor are there. And there with the rest of the lads that will never be. comes in with her bit of poetry and it's almost like the guitar solo at the end of the track so it's been yeah uh, a fascinating three months work and uh, the album is due to be released at the end of june and uh, so far the signs are that it will be uh, very well received so we're, uh, yeah we're very pleased to have been there the hundreds to Ludlow coming for the fair.